You know, Jonathan, I, I still am thinking about the Italian mayors cussing at people and telling them to stay home. You know, they took it very seriously in Italy and they locked that country down. First part of it and then all of it. And they have far fewer deaths than we do. And, and what mm -hmm. Donald Trump has done is not worked. Look at this death toll. It's shocking and horrifying. Your thoughts? Wrong. Welcome back, everyone, and thank you to all my glorious Patreon and Subscribe Star subscribers, as well as all of this channel sponsors. If you want to support this channel, supporting our sponsors is one of the best ways to do it. We'll get right back into this episode, but first, let me quickly tell you about this free special offer for my subscribers. What will your savings in retirement look like once we've declared victory over the virus? Many Americans use this little-known IRS qualified loophole that allows Americans to buy gold and silver with their retirement accounts. Call to Day and request a free investment kit below. Mention Drone Tech Politics and get a free one ounce silver coin for qualified retirement account holders. Must be over 40 to qualify. Call 866 915 5053 and get your free investment guide today. Yeah, you know, they took it very seriously in Italy. They have far fewer deaths than we do. There's a lot wrong with what Joy Destair Reed said here, so let's just break it down. Her claim is that the US leads the world in coronavirus deaths. Wrong. If you're just looking at the raw numbers, it may look that way, but there's a couple of issues here that Joy Reid is purposely exploiting for the purposes of propaganda. Number one, the US is the third most populated country in the world. We're a country of 328 million people. That's a lot of people. When you break down coronavirus deaths per capita based on the country's population size, you get a much different picture. The US comes in ninth in coronavirus deaths with Italy coming in at the fourth highest. Two, we have absolutely no idea what the actual numbers are in China and India. And these are the two most populated countries in the world. I spoke to a doctor at a Mumbai state-run hospital. He didn't want to be identified, fearing reprisal from the government. Yes, we are under testing, under reporting. Doctors in different parts of the country have told me that people with underlying conditions are often not enumerated as COVID deaths. The other problem is India's testing rate, among the lowest in the world. The vice president is not alone in his skepticism of the Chinese government's reported number of coronavirus cases. We are now realizing that they were openly lying about data. So Joy Reid's not only lying to the American people, she's basically lying to cover for China and India, simply to hurt Trump and increase the Democrats' chances for November. It's not just Joy Reid, though. Many in the so-called mainstream media have been making this dubious claim. South of the border, the U.S. is now reporting more COVID-19 deaths than anywhere else in the world. America is now the epicenter of the coronavirus pandemic. America has passed the grim milestone of 20,500 deaths to overtake Italy as the world's worst hit nation. Breaking news today on the coronavirus pandemic with more than 19,000 people now having died here in the United States from COVID-19. That death toll higher than any other country. In fact, it has just surpassed Italy. The striking figures, the U.S. now leading the world in deaths. The United States has less than 5% of the world's population, but the United States has also almost 30% of the world's officially reported coronavirus deaths. God, that last one with Jake Tapper is the worst. He says the United States has less than 5% of the world's population, yet has 30% of coronavirus deaths. That's a really dishonest way of measuring that. He's just comparing the US's population size to the total combined population size of the world. It's all just smoke and mirrors to deflect away from the fact that per capita, we're way down the list on total deaths. He's also just glazing over the fact that the two largest populations centers in the world don't have reliable data. There's actually a lot more that I didn't put in this montage. For example, the publicly funded NPR has also made this dubious claim. The article headline, U.S. has the most coronavirus deaths in the world. This article is by Nicole Hernandez, who I did tweet this afternoon to try and find out why she's putting out these misleading claims. The article says, quote, the death toll in the United States from the coronavirus has surpassed Italy's. 
putting America at number one worldwide for the number of people killed by the virus. Wrong. Italy has a population of 60 million people, while the U.S. has 328 million. That's not a small difference in population sizes. And again, we don't even have the true data coming from the two largest populations in the world, China and India. In conclusion, my question is, why are these media organizations running cover for China and India? After all, the left has never had a problem cozying up to America's enemies during Republican administrations. That's all for this episode. Please hit that like button, share and subscribe. If you want to support this channel, you can do so on one of these platforms. You can find all those links in the description and pinned comment. Thanks for watching. Keep coming back.